गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो वेलकम बैक फॉर दूम लेक्चर सो लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन ओके सो टुडे इज द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड स्टाफिंग सो लास्ट लेक्चर वो हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज अर्गनाइजिंग एंड व्हाट इज अ स्टाफिंग सो ओनली ट्रेनिंग पार्ट इज रिमेनिंग वट एवर वट एवर सिलेबस कंसर्न Performance appraisal point we already discussed in last lecture. Okay, so that point is very important for us. Why? Because this is applicable for both. Those are uh, want to job start job in industry also, and those are want to work with HR department. So we have to take that benefit, both benefits also. Okay, so definitely we will get the benefit of that particular. Uh, Staffing department, okay, or human resource management department. So after human resource management, okay, whenever this is the duty of that industry, okay, whenever any employee will join in your industry or in your organization, okay. So you should know, you should give coaching, whatever the uh, teaching to that particular person. So what is the work, okay? What is the procedure to do uh, do that work? Okay. Now after training, uh, this is a Uh, as per that employee, they will do work. Okay, who will be the leading? Okay, so our next chapter is the leading and or uh, controlling. Okay, so this is a sequence. Okay, first step is planning. After planning, according to planning, we have to organize that organization or industry. After that, the selection. Okay, or staffing. We can say say that after staffing, leading. Okay, and after leading. Controlling. So this is a managerial functions and procedure or system approach to the management. So we are uh, up to reach up to the training part. Now, whenever any employee or any person is added in your organization, so what is the first step? Already we have discussed about what is the selection procedure. Okay. In that selection procedure, you have to give different criteria. According to that criteria, you have to. uh take or select the employees okay what are the functions what are the requirement what is the selection process already we have discussed in last lecture okay so if you refer the last video recording also okay so next the training okay now what is the training after the employee will or after the uh, employee will be start work in your industry before working you have to give training so what is the basic information of that industry history of that industry Huh? So, what is the objective of a employee? What is the objective, vision, mission of th- that uh, organization? Is it right? So, all the factors should know with that factor. Okay. Suppose uh, in any industry, there is standard way of joining also. Okay. Whenever after selection, you have to give joining or appointment appointment letter for the That organization. So, what is the procedure? You have to uh, sign the different stamps also. Okay, whatever the government's rules and regulation. What is the joining date? Okay, what will be the timing for uh, your entire work in future? So, all the things should be legally. Okay, my joining the alamun has ki alam ka masur ke liye that is not way. So, we have to follow all the government rules and regulations. Is it right? So what are government rules and regulation? What are the different acts are there? Amendments are there for the employee for industry also? Is it right? So uh, what will be the procedure? What is the um, salary related uh, some rules are there? So we have to sign on them. Is it right? So what uh, suppose if any industry want bond, okay, or uh, whatever the time. So as per that industrial requirement, you have to give. to proceed with legal procedure procedure also okay suppose uh, company will take whatever written information okay if any you will left uh, before you you can't left before giving the notice period so that are the different factors so uh, introductory program may be there in that industry okay what is introductory product of that industry suppose you have to read and write uh different rules and regulations of that particular company different office orders of that company is it right you have to meet with the managements okay for the introduction so then and then only your training or whatever you are joining will start now after joining the training program okay so what factors should be there okay so 
we are having uh, that level both side we can think on okay as per we are manager we have to take what will be the procedure to take a training this is the one way and this is the next as a student we have we should know or we should follow all this whatever the training procedure or whatever the selection procedure okay so that will be beneficial for us is it right so training not training is nothing but to give the information of industry work and whatever the objective of that industry so that so then and then only the company's objective will be fulfilled by the particular employee is it right so what are the different requirements huh? so in training coaching may be there teaching may be there knowledge you have to give is it right and different courses suppose for example skills skill oriented courses may be there okay for example in in industry now the computer operating is it a this is a very simple but some uh, as per that knowledge suppose in that particular industry the excel command is required okay suppose for example katia uh, software is very important okay different as per mechanical background we can say that different examples okay tally may be there word file may be there email writing so different trainings are required okay so according to the company's requirement we can take that much training is it right so what is the communication procedure how we can uh, communicate with each and every employee okay different protocols of that industry so all the factors will be covered in that coaching or whatever in training okay now skills skills is nothing but suppose any software is required for that industry console may be there but may be there answers may be there so for uh, to study or to training of that particular software will be given at after selection of that employee is it right so that will be the procedure so what knowledge is required okay suppose uh, there is a work difference okay for example as per the education qualification or experience the work is different culture is different okay whatever the uh, infrastructure of that industry is different so we have to mix with that over our, our entire uh, factors of that industry so, okay so, so for that purpose your training is required okay after training you will be familiar with that industry and you will do work as well as better as okay so this is a actually way of the training or this is a requirement of training okay so if you are having experience also okay so as a manager we have to think on that okay if ex experienced people is will be there okay now what is a, a training program will be there is it right suppose in uh, if any pressure is there so what will be the syllabus of that training so all the factors we have to consider is it right your experience jar ekada manus ala and tumhi jala manay lagla ha excel asa chalal pahije tar te kay hoil that will be the time waste okay wastage of timing and definitely that person will also think uh, different okay so that will be the procedure now we have to check whether that person we are giving training is okay okay but whether that person is giving or accepting that training okay or this is the he is a way, uh, listening or whatever the learning is okay or not okay so that factor also we have to consider is it right so this will be the training program then last part of training is a development okay so development should be there okay so what is a uh, time period of that training program whether we are giving training okay okay but they are learning or not okay they are understanding or not so uh, different according to different test exams okay so we have to take a lot of effort for training also okay within training ha keep in mind the money or whatever the financial factor is also important while giving training is it right so uh, i am always telling to every student okay whenever i will uh, out of college sir as a fresher okay you are not having any experience okay if there will be less payment some companies are giving only stipend or some less payment why because our companies required to give training to you also as well as payment to you also okay we company la training period jo asto varsha asel saha mahina asel mahina asel aple de lok kay mantat baka ekada ekan job karaycha asel tar kay mantar पेमेंट दहा हजार वीस हजार दिले काय पेमेंट माझ्या शिक्षणाला अनुसरून पेमेंट दिलं नाही ओके बट वाय इंडस्ट्री आर नॉट गिव्हिंग पेमेंट ऍट इनिशियल स्टेज म्हणजे एक लक्षात घ्या 
तुम्ही ज्यावेळेस इंडस्ट्रीमध्ये एंट्री मारता त्यावेळेस तुमचा फायदा काय आहे कंपनीला ट्रेनिंग पिरियडमध्ये नथिंग ओके बिकॉज वी आर लर्निंग म्हणजे तुम्हाला शिकवायची तुम्हाला पैसे द्यायचे मग शिकवायला वेगळे पैसे लागणार आहे तुम्हाला तुमच्या खर्च करण्याला ट्रेनर लागणार ओके टाइम ऑफ दर ऑर्गनायझेशन मे बी वेस्ट देअर ओके दिस इज अ प्रोसिजर सो ड्यू टू ट्रेनिंग पिरियड और समथिंग वी कॅन से दॅट इंटर्नशिप ड्युरिंग इंटर्नशिप और ड्युरिंग ड्युरिंग ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम द सॅलरी मे बी मिनिमम ओके बट आफ्टर ट्रेनिंग युअर सॅलरी और वॉट एव्हर दॅट बेनिफिट ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर एम्प्लॉय वील स्टार्ट आफ्टर ट्रेनिंग ओके सो ड्यू टू दॅट सम कंपनीज आर नॉट गिव्हिंग व्हेरी वेल पेमेंट टू द एम्प्लॉय ओके कीप इन माइंड म्हणजे असं म्हणू नका की बरेच आता इथून पुढं माझ्या मध्ये तुम्ही लास्ट इयरला आहात बरोबर का तर कंपनी सुरुवातीला प्रयत्न करा चार पाच कंपनीमध्ये प्लेस व्हायचा ओके जास्त लांबून लावायचं नाही जरी नकोच पण ते शक्यतो तुम्ही पहिल्या दोन तीन चार कंपनीमध्ये प्लेस व्हावं ही माझी इच्छा आहे ओके सो देन एन दोन ओनली युअर करिअर विल स्टार्ट ऍज बेटर ऍज ओके सो बिकॉज दिस इज अ टर्निंग पॉईंट ओके सो वी हॅव टू कन्सिडर ऑल दी फॅक्टर्स ऑल्सो इट राईट सो ट्राय टू uh use benefit benefits of college also okay and try to make a placement also okay and after that if you uh, bad luck you will, you will not be but hope you all will be placed but keep in mind so there is a no salary matter initially okay so you have to consider that factor also okay early as possible you have to start job in industry any okay suppose if uh, you are interested in job is it right but start your planning from today okay there will be no any uh shortcut or whatever the uh, short law short way okay so that is the standard way so you have to think on that is it right so uh what what is actually so moving towards the syllabus training and development okay training is nothing but whatever the coaching or teaching we are giving and development is nothing but the the personal development of that employee okay now training is input and development is output is it right in simple way we can say that okay training is the input and development is nothing but output of that training okay now what is training definition the act of increasing the knowledge and skills of an employee is it right am i audible any doubt is there okay because no any discussion is there okay i will check up ha if any doubt is there okay then ask me shubham sir you have to change your roll number huh? again one akshay lavte what is the problem barsha ka lagte tum sara ye okay एवढं काय अवघड नाही काय म्हणजे नावा नंबर नंबर लायचं नाव बदलायचं म्हणजे ओनली तुमचं नाव ठेवायचं रोल नंबर ऍड करायचं नाही नाव बदलायचं सांगताय म्हणून चालू मास्टर ओके तुमचं काय नाव बदलायची गरज नसते अक्षय लवटे ओके सो लेट इट बी सो वी विल मूव्ह टू अवर लेक्चर आय विल टेक अटेंडन्स ऑल्सो नाव ट्रेनिंग द ट्रेनिंग इज नथिंग बट द ऍक्ट ऑफ इन्क्रीजिंग द नॉलेज डेफिनेटली आहे is it right a company is a professional act okay and how does it happen how does it go away from the industry that is okay what is the personality okay what personality should we do gesture okay what is your body language okay so all the factors are very important while giving the training is it right ट्रेनिंग म्हणजे आपल्याला काय वाटते की असेल काहीतरी ओके बट ऑल दी फॅक्टर्स वे हॅव टू कन्सिडर इन दॅट ट्रेनिंग ओनली इज इट राईट बेसिक पर्पज टू चेंज द बिहेवियर ऑफ वर्कर्स ओके इफ वर्कर मे बी फ्रेशर इफ वर्कर मे बी एक्सपिरियन्स ओके सो वी हॅव टू मिक्स 
or that employee should be mixed with that current environment or infrastructure okay continuous and never ending process ha huh. this is a very very important the training is a always continuous okay why because every person is continuously learning manje la janma la le mul ani ek mele matar he journey madhe shevot pande vidyarthi asto manje manus ha mare pande vidyarthi asto so we can say that the continuous and never ending process training is a continuous and never ending process okay so don't lie whenever you will get the different or new things from the there is a no age matter why as one then must training sat give whatever the experience okay so as per knowledge you have to take a training okay or you have to take the positive points from the others okay so training is a never ending process or this is a continuous process is it right this is a continuous process mainly job oriented and both new and old employees on that that will also very important na? now who is a trainer okay now if you consider huh, left kon hote the hmm see Hmm. Okay, so mainly job oriented and both new and old employees. Now training will be not only for fresher only. Eh? Suppose if any updation is required. Okay, suppose if any we have changed the software of that industry. Okay, suppose we have uh, changed the job also. Okay, or whatever the product. If you consider the manufacturing industry, there will be no single product. Huh? There will be different programs or different products may be there. So according to the product or whatever, according to the design, whatever the structure of that product, so work will also different. Okay, so every time you have to give required training. Okay, so mainly job oriented and both new and old employees. According to job orientation, according to the job structure. Okay, according to the market expectation, according to the uh, requirement. Okay, so definitely that will be the flexible motion. Okay, or fle flexible structure, job oriented. Okay, so there is a no any ending. Always now next part part is both new and old employees. Okay, this is very important. Is it right? Suppose we have to give training in group. Okay, take an example. Suppose 50, 50 employees are there. We have to give training to that 50 employees. Okay, but in that 50 employee, the 25 are less experience and 25 are more experience. Okay, so how we can give the training to them? And whatever the trainer is there, this is also very less experience. So what will be there? Take I mean till matter. Sorry, who is the local? Who just experience has the local? The amount she call her man. बरोबर आम्ही इथं चाळीस पावसाळे जास्त खाल्ले दिस इज अ मेंटॅलिटी ऑफ एम्प्लॉय म्हणजे सगळेच नाहीत कुठं कुठं असू शकतात असे थोडेफार सो दॅट फॅक्टर्स वे आर ऑल्सो कन्सिडर नाव फॉर दॅट पर्पज हाव एन्टायर एम्प्लॉय विल मिक्स विथ दॅट ट्रेनर ओके सो ट्रेनर जॉब इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ओके हो इज गिव्हन ट्रेनिंग सो ॲज पर आवर पॉईंट ऑफ व्ह्यू ॲज पर आवर सिलेबस वी आर मॅनेजर्स ओके सो वी हॅव टू टेक ट्रेनिंग Okay, we have to uh, give the training to the employee. So, what factors will be there? So, yeah, with my research, I okay, and to check out it, but last question, I'm not sure. Retirement is a very good one. So, how then you you have, you will give the training to them? So, I can tell you, sir. Okay, is it right? So, that is a very important factor. Okay, my public put a good one. That is a mini mini song to work. That means I was carrying my mother to the west. तिथं पब्लिक काही एक नाही ओके म्हणजे वया ज्या ज्याला कळते तिथून जे पक्षवटे उद्या पाहत जाणार आहे असे पण लोक असतात हाऊ वी कॅन हँडल दॅट पर्सन ओके सो दॅट इज ऑल्सो स्किल हा सो इन इंडस्ट्री ऑल्सो वी हॅव टू थिंक ऑन दॅट सो देर विल बी बोथ न्यू एम्प्लॉय मे बी देअर आर ओल्ड एम्प्लॉय मे बी देअर ओके सो वी हॅव टू मिक्स विथ देम ओके एव्हरी वन शुड बी सॅटिस्फाईड Okay, if your training will be better, definitely your 
what ever the confidence of that industry growth of your personal growth sorry your personal growth growth of industry so all the factors are depending on you only okay so everyone should think on that whatever the progress or whatever the decrement is based on only me okay so that factors is very very important for the training okay so according to training development will happen okay so this is a basic requirement of training is it right now objective of training what are the objective the basic purpose of training is to bring a change in the behavior of the employee okay is it right behavior of the employee should be changed okay as per requirement fundamental objectives can be accomplished only through positive change in knowledge skills attitude of the employee okay now when training will be successful okay when training will be successful if you will accomplish only through positive change in knowledge skills and attitude manje tumhi dilel training jar tyar man sala lagu jale okay nahi tar ratra bhar ramayan sangitle sakale ramaji seta kon asu jar matle tar that will be waste okay so this is nothing but the fundamental objective is accomplish only through positive change okay whatever knowledge you are going skills you are going okay so according to that attitude of that employee should be changed with the only positive change is it right mujhe jasta jar tumhi bola lagla tar te apan mantu baka aplya madhe ek man aste jasta sampark ala te puti odale jate okay so like that so we have to take all the factors in consider okay so this is also important object of training next object is increased knowledge would help employ where the increased knowledge would help employ to know facts policies okay where the increased knowledge would help employ to know facts policies okay procedures and bylaws pertaining to their job okay so whatever the factors should be there okay will be there you have to consider Okay, we have to fulfill that factors. There may be uh, tax policies, procedures, okay, by laws. Now that factors we should consider while giving the training. Hmm? Increased skills help to perform their job more efficiently. Definitely, when how much training we are giving, how much uh, skills we are providing. So according to that, definitely our performance of job will be efficiently. Okay, so overall, it depend on training. Good training also. mold the attitude of an employee towards other workers okay the super superiors and the organization definitely whether the training is better ha huh, if you consider uh, private industry and whatever the for example government training okay if you are uh, dealing with or you are knowing what will be the government defense training okay so there is a very very great training given by the defense sector okay so i am having that experience but whatever the training okay after selection or before selection okay so there is a very great and very motivational training will be given by the defense sector so that is a ideal you may say that okay so if you require what is the procedure of training so you can uh, take the help of youtube and try to watch the videos of the defense sector okay so what will be the training from the defense okay my maybe air force whatever the army may be there okay or navy may be there so there is a very very great training okay so according to the good training also more the attitude of that employee towards organization co workers and the superiors and the organization okay je je kahi jar tumhi training jar changle dile tar definitely that employee will be or attitude of that employee will be changed okay and that change the attitude will help for the the great by bonding to the worker whatever the uh, superiors or the organization okay maje we wish was that the organization je kiwa samstha je okay so that will be very kiwa coworkers kiwa sahakari sahakari tum jastil company le so this is a very important okay so what is a good important factor or this you can say that the object of the training okay, so last object is very very important okay as per now all the objects are very important because as per training entire your work will yeah okay because first impression is the last impression so that uh, point or that sentence will uh, we can uh, come by compare here only eh? 
If any doubt, you may ask. Huh? Paste your roll numbers here. All of you. Hi, Kazani. Huh. Okay, very good. Huh? So, uh, object is. Yes, I will show whatever the. So I am happy, huh? Zag, I to me, I'm a brother. Okay. 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 So these are the objective of the training. Is it right? Now next point is the uh, importance of training improves quality and uh, quantity of work. Definitely, facilities better utilization of equipment. Is it right? So whatever the uh, use of training, okay, or importance of training improves quality and quantity of work. Definitely, whenever you will give better training, definitely quality will also increase. And again. Quantity may also increase. Okay, if you are motivating your workers, okay, if uh, reducing uh, time, okay, within time, okay, or uh, suppose within minimum time, suppose suppose the employee will work, okay, or produce the whatever the product. Definitely, if efficiency of that product will increase, definitely quantity and quality of also increases of that particular work. Okay, so facilities better utilization of equipment. Okay, as per training, if you provide training, so whatever the facilities we are providing, each and every employee will take the help of that different facilities. Okay, and that facility, why facilities are giving? So try to reduce cost, try to increase quality, try to increase quantity. Okay, this is a main purpose of the facilities. Okay, so every employee should take the facility or benefits of that facility definitely different utilization of the equipment okay so this is the importance of training reduces cost definitely whenever you will give training to that employee okay initially now where the definitely in future that whatever the work efficiency quality of that work work will be increased due to the training so definitely cost will also reduce okay why cost is reduced if you will give training better training so there will be no wastage okay but the failure may not be there Okay, our quality will also, also increase. Is it right? So, that definitely that will be the reduced cost of product. Okay, or uh, whatever the maintenance and producing cost may also reduce. Okay, boost the moral of the employee, definitely. Definitely, due to the training only, moral will be boosted by the training. Okay, of each and every employee. Benefits of training to the organization. Huh? what is the, the benefit okay these are the personal benefit and but which benefits are for the organization hmm? so better performance definitely after training performance of each and every employee will better okay reduce the cost of production definitely production cost will also reduce why because already we have discussed this. so there will be no any wastage okay quality will also increase if quality will be increased definitely your cost of product or Profit will also increase. Okay, so market will uh, choose your product only. Why? Because the quality of that product, okay, or suppose uh, delivery of that product is very important. So, uh, if you require the any material, okay, so what is the delivery timing? So, this is also very important. Okay, suppose your work or your product will be produced fast, okay then delivery will also fast definitely public or whatever the market or uh, whatever customer will ask for your product definitely cost will be reduced okay when why cost is reduced because we are giving training and due to the uh, training definitely losses will also reduces okay and due to efficiency increase of that particular work okay now less supervision Definitely why? Because if you will give better training, so maximum supervision not required. Okay, so these are the very simple and but very important factors. Okay, less supervision is required due to the training. 
long term stability and flexibility definitely okay whatever the you are given training definitely stability of that employee or whatever the knowledge you are giving that will be flexible whatever the stable okay good human relations hmm? due to the training during the training period you will get a good relation in between trainer and whatever the employee okay ya apan kutha jar gelo asel baka training la tar lage tumchi mitra mande vadte okay personal relation will also increases so that factors are also very important is it right uniformity to of procedure okay suppose we are giving training so suppose for example if you will not give a direction or you will not take a training ha so mag jar tumhi training is dil nahi tar kay hoil lok kashi yetil okay industry madhe mai kon t-shirt galele kon formula madhe yel okay kon apla asa yel rana cha so that will be the, that will happen is it right so uniformity will be also uh, produce okay so this is also benefit of training to the organization okay. definitely all the factor will be better so brand of your name or brand of your organization will be in society okay so if your brand will be there definitely the entire journey of that industry or your entire journey of that organization will be satisfactory okay so all the factors are you should consider in record okay benefit to training to the employee okay what are the uh, benefits of training to the organization we discuss okay but what will be the benefit to the employee okay advanced made in career definitely now due to the training you are uh, shubham sate who is this ha huh. so benefits of training to employ am advanced made in career is it right advanced made in career in it, but we are giving different skills okay you are giving uh, employee will get uh, different knowledge okay due to the training and coaching teaching and coaching okay so uh, again a different uh, for example experience may also increases is it right now increased the productivity okay so whatever the ability to produce work or uh, to do the work definitely increases due to the training okay so this is the benefit of employee okay safety definitely due to the training only there will be not any failure okay suppose tumhala training jar nahi dile to tumhi machine madhe gela jala adakla machine madhe okay te kiti nuksan hai bar ka so due to the training you will get idea okay where is the danger zone where is the you have to take a safety okay or uh, that factor will also consider it in whatever the safety point Okay, so safety will also uh, will help for the training due to the training to the employee. High moral. Okay, and this is a very very important factor. So this is a main benefit of that the employee for the uh, employee. Okay, so moral. You can say that the whatever the um, output of that. employee okay or they will be motivated now opportunity for the promotion is it right suppose you are dealing with any uh, standard industry okay tcs tata bharat forge okay mnc company any mnc company so definitely your bio data will also heavy okay whatever the weightage of your bio data will increase suppose you have given training from tcs training from the well known company definitely your next point or next career career opportunity is also will also greater is it right so different opportunity also we will get is it right so for example you can say that okay uh, tcs is one of the example the training of tcs is very 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 satisfied okay or very branded training is there okay maje tcs maje training given baris lok bahar dusra company jatat baka Okay, TCS made. Two and three months is time to do. So why? Because that will be the important for the opportunity in promotions. Okay. So these are the factors. Consider should be considered in the training. Increase the mobility. Okay, definitely mobility of that uh, particular employee. 
okay should be increased okay so what is the mobility so what is your capacity of do work okay jala kay mato apan mobility is nothing but the um, you can say that whatever the flexibility okay or hal sal apan manto je keva manje chapal bantu manus ile okay suppose definitely that will be also uh, beneficial for us or that employee okay next is a development what is a development we already discussed the growth of the individual in all respects okay this is very simple definition of development okay the training is nothing but input okay of stopping a development is nothing but output of stopping uh, stopping okay so development growth of the individual in all in broadly refers to the nature and direction of change in the employees through the process of training and education okay due to the training due to the skills due to the education due to coaching due to the teaching okay so definitely whatever the nature of that particular employee whatever the behavior of that employee attitude of that employee will also increase or change okay as per the satisfactory level okay at, at, at up to the satisfactory levels okay so this is a benefit of the development okay am i audible any anyone mat tar lap lo majat hmm ahaj gaza ge next point is national institutional conference board defined development okay definition ba so management development is all those activities and program okay when recognized and controlled which have sub- substantial influences in changing the capacity of the individual to perform his assessment assignment better and it and in so doing are likely to increase his potential for future management assessment assignment okay ते काय ना काय जे आहे ते वाजव होते बघा ते थ्री डेट मधले सारखं ओके म्हणजे सिंपल डेप आहे आता वर्क एफिशियन काय केली बघा ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडिव्हिज्युअल इन ऑल रिस्पेक्ट दॅट विल ऑल्सो हॅव सॅटिस्फॅक्टरी ओके बट मॅनेजमेंट डेफिनेशन काय आहे नॅशनल इन्स्टिट्यूट इंडस्ट्रियल कॉन्फरन्स ओके सो दॅट इज ऑल्सो डिफरंट ओके सो मॅनेजमेंट लँग्वेज आहे व्हॉट एर आवर लँग्वेज ओके सो मॅनेजमेंट लँग्वेज से दॅट management development is all those activity and the programming okay when recognized and controlled which have substantial influences in changing the capacity of the individual to perform his assignment better okay and in so doing are likely to increase his potential okay so what is uh, we can say that whatever the changing in capacity okay definitely whenever you will give training definitely whatever the performance of assignment or whatever the role we are giving to that employee will be better okay and so increases his potential of future management assignment is it right ya ata parent jo kai kaam karat hota to te sudha jast input tense wadena hai kashamule due to the training only is it right so this is the about the development ha objective of executive development okay to improve knowledge of the executives okay objective of executive development so what will be the objectives to improve the knowledge okay to in, in, increase the performance of executives is it right to develop who is executive whatever the uh, who to whom we are giving training okay to improve the knowledge of that person or employee to increase the performance of that person okay to develop executives for taking new assignments in future so whatever the innovative things we are giving we are providing or we are changing attitude of that employee towards innovation okay so that will be also development or output of that training okay to influence the behavior of worker through the developed workers is it right whatever the behavior of worker through the developed worker because due to the experienced person okay due to the experienced faculty okay definitely 
So knowledge, ready knowledge will be received or achieved by that particular young man. This training is the experience of the young man. Okay, or whatever the knowledge of that particular work, that will be also helpful for the worker in that industry. Is it right? To ensure adequate managerial talent for the long term superior survival and growth of the organization. Okay, definitely, overall survival or whatever the growth of organization is depending on that development or training. Okay, so this is the development of employee due to the training program. Is it right? So, uh, I think this is the last point. Okay. If you are having any doubt, okay, regarding two chapters, okay, two chapters is nothing but the 25% syllabus, huh? So, up to 14 lectures are there, okay, so the next 10 lecture or 20, 12 lecture will help Paul to complete the, our entire first section, okay, and the next, last section or second section is a uh, only quality management, so we have to uh, study the different uh, programs, okay. This is also very interesting, okay, but first of all we have to know, okay, we will be the manager in industry. So what will be the, uh, our functions of managers, okay, what factors are, uh, will be considered in industry, okay. So for that purpose, this subject is very important, okay, and management is also important. Whenever you will be better manager, definitely you will do better in that industry, okay. So hope you all have understood the the second chapter also okay organizing and staffing is it right if any doubt you may ask me so this is our chapter number second what we have discussed okay we will uh, take a short review okay first of all we have started the planning planning after organizing okay in organizing nature and purpose of organizing we have discussed uh, organization structure okay organization structure also we have discussed uh, spans different spans and level departmentation four types of departmentation okay are you remembering which four types are there? Anyone? Kashal Sakai Sakai Tabja Tamana. Take it. The Bagakai with the Malato they work to me. Hmm. Whatever the department is in the enterprise function department uh, for the department based on territory or geographic area. Okay. Next is departmentation by customer or last departmentation by product. Okay. So this is the department, span level, okay, what is span, narrow span, wide span, okay, authority delegation, which different authority, power, okay, so we already discussed, decentralization, we also discussed, okay, and after that we have started the staffing, okay, what is staffing, definition, HR, um, okay, whatever the human resource management, selection procedure of that employee, okay, and this today's lecture, training and development, okay, and performance appraisal, also we have discussed in last lecture, okay, because this is also very important, is it right, so, uh, this is a syllabus, okay, so hope you all have understood the chapter number second, and definitely that will be helpful for, helpful for your future also, okay, whenever you will, uh, dealing with any industry or any organization, okay, so thank you for uh, attending. Okay, so if any doubt is there, if any question is there, okay, you can ask me. Okay, so we will stop here. I will take attendance. Huh? So I will stop recording first of all. Is it right? So that will be the our second. That is, this is our second chapter is over. Okay, so we will start our next chapter in next lecture. Okay, so only introduction we will take today. I think today's last lecture is our. Okay. Huh. So if any doubt is there, you can ask me directly. Okay, so thank you for attending the lecture.